Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on estimation using MS Excel. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to do the bar bending schedule of a column using a structural drawing and using the help of MS Excel. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, let me show you this format, which is very easy and you can prepare this in MS Excel. So basically, we'll just move through it the bar bending schedule of our columns so it's uh, let's first you know uh, determine the bar bending schedule or the total quantity of reinforcement of the column c1 so now for the column c1 it is asking me to you know uh, we can just simply insert the dia of bar so the dia of the main reinforcement will insert let's check out the structural drawing of the c1 and we have eight bars of 20 mm so now this is this is a building which is b plus g plus 4 b plus g plus 3 so this is basically we'll divide the bbs into some parts so we'll do the calculation for the basement and the ground floor first so the height of the basement is 11 feet and we'll calculate uh, you know our bar bending schedule as per that so now the dia of bar is your 20 mm and the number of bars which we have is 8 so there are 8 bars of 20 mm so there are 8 bars which we have inserted now number of members now we'll check out in the third structural drawing how many a c1 are there in it c3 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 c1 1 c1 and then 2 c1 and 3 c1 so we have a total of 3 c1 in the structural drawing so we'll simply type c3 here and then we need to calculate the cutting length of bar so it's important to know the shape of the bar is like this and if you check out in the structural drawing it's basically the like this when it uh, goes out with the starter bars for your footing so now the length can be divided into some parts so as you can see uh, let's first calculate the total length of the basement plus uh, up to the ground floor so the length of the basement uh, will be uh, will be is your one meter and sorry that is the footing length of the footing height of the footing will be one meter depth of the footing and your height of the basement is 11 feet so 11 feet if you just uh, roughly uh, just convert 11 feet into meter that is dividing by 3.28 you can convert it in meter it's uh, approximately equals to 3.35 so let's do the cutting length it will be equals to uh, let's say one one meter and then one plus so we'll add we'll deduct this later so let's do the addition first one plus 3.35 that is uh, one is the depth of the footing 3.35 is the height from the basement to the ground floor and plus let's add more plus and this l shape or the hook you can tell it so this is the development length so this can be uh, you know given as uh, like 250 mm so let's give it uh, 250 mm 0.25 so if it's mentioned in the drawing you can give us for that otherwise you can take the standard value and then let's add we'll deduct so first of all we'll deduct this portion so as you can see this is one meter but we have 100 mm of uh, uh, uh you know sorry 75 mm of pcc and we have 75 mm of cover for the footing as you can check here it is must be written in the particular uh structural drawing so 75 mm cover for pcc and 75 uh mm cover for our footing so this two two things we can deduct let's do it once 0 0.15 that is 0 0.7 0 0.075 plus plus 0 0.075 that is 0 0.15 so this is the cutting length of one bar which we have obtained and now the total length of the bar can simply by obtain, uh, be obtained by multiplying the cutting length into the number of bars and then the total length of bar in all the members can be multiplied by the total length of one single bar into the number of members and weight per kg can be you know obtained by multiplying the uh, diameter of the bar in mm by 162 that is d square by 162 and the total weight we simply need to multiply our weight of one bar into length of all bars in total so the main reinforcement bbs we have obtained successfully and now we will go for the tie so if you check the structural drawings 
the tie or the let lateral reinforcement if you can check we have two types of ties so one is this one and one is this one so we'll divide it into two parts let's go for this particular part first this particular tie will go for first so now the shape of the tie is uh, like this and the die of the bar which we have is uh, your particular 8 mm die bars and the number of bars if which we need to find out so it will be basically the total length we can do this this will be basically your total length we can round up this value because we want a full value here we can use the command of round up whatever the calculation will do inside will do this minus uh, now the it's important to know where the stirrups will come the stirrups won't come in this uh, region that is uh, in the in this particular uh, in development length which we have provided so we are, we can deduct this length so this minus 0. Point, we have taken as 0. 0.25 so we'll deduct this length and uh, we can uh, simply did, uh, divide it by we'll give one more single bracket and we'll divide it by let's say the spacing of the stirrups so the spacing of the stirrups if you can check is 175 mm center to center so uh, the spacing let's you know divide it by 1 0 0.175 and uh, let's take the brackets let's give one more bracket and then comma 0 let's check if the brackets are okay so this is okay so like this we can uh, you know calculate the ties and then the number of members will be the same you can do this as the same as this one and next thing is the cutting length of bar so the cutting length of bar you can take the help of your respective codes so we in the is uh, 2502 as per indian standards we have uh, a particular way of calculating this so this formula is 2 into a plus e plus 24 d so a is this one e is this one and the, this is 24 d so this is 12 d and this is 12 d so the total length is 24 d so uh, we'll, we'll do do it in a similar fashion let's do it equals to 2 into uh, bracket a plus e so a and e let's find out what is a and e so now so if this is 250 and with the columns cover as you can see the cover column of for column is 40 mm and then your a should be what should be your a your a should be 250 minus uh, 40 minus 40 that is minus 80 and if you can note this is uh, from the uh, actually from the center so 250 minus 80 minus you can you know calculate this uh, separately like it will be if you can do this here let's do it here equals to uh, 0 0.250 250 minus 0.80 for the two covers and minus you know point uh, uh, let's uh, deduct for the uh, particular stirrups uh, bar size as well so this will be minus 0 0.008 if you can do this so 0 0.008 will be for this and you can ignore this also because this is a very small value it's up to you whether you want to ignore it or not because this is a very small value so we'll ignore it so we'll do as 2 into so this will do as 250 minus 80 that is will uh, deduct it somewhere let's open the calculator it will be useful for us so let's show you 250 minus uh, 80 this is 170 so let's do it as 0 0.170 plus a plus e so this will be 300 minus minus 80 so it will be 220 so plus 0 0.220 and plus you know for the hooks it will be plus 24 into d so d is 0 0.008 so this is this is the value which we have so let's just click on enter 
so we have uh, some corrections in the uh, formula we haven't given the multiplication symbol here so we'll accept this so this is the cutting length of the bar the total length of bar is simply the multipl multiplication of the cutting length into the number of bar and the total length of all bars will be this will be multiplied by the number of members and similarly the weight that is d square by 162 and the total weight will be multiplied the total length and the total weight so here the number of the bars will be the same so we can give as equals to d6 number of members is also the same and the shape is different so we'll take the help of is code to find out this particular shape so this is this is kind of the shape so it's it's telling uh, 4 into c plus 4 into c plus 24d so c is basically this length this one so how to you know find out this particular length so we'll do as 4 into c so let's you know take the help of the drawing so as you can see this is this is the c length which you are talking about so if you can find out this one and this one we can easily find out the c using the pythagoras theorem so let's uh, try this so c will be basically this is basically 250 as we have uh, calculated here this will be basically let's say 250 minus we'll do it in meter 0 0.250 minus 0 0.8 0 0.08 load an equal to symbol here and uh, this is another one is your uh, point zero point uh, three hundred three minus zero point zero eight and if we just uh, we have so we have particular this value and this value so if we uh, divide it by two if you can uh, divide it this value by 2 so we'll obtain this particular values so if we divide it by 2 we'll obtain this value and we'll obtain this value so to obtain this value if we, if we multiply the square root into uh, this square and this square that is base plus, plus perpendicular will get the hypotenuse so uh, we'll simply do equals to s q r t that is the square root of this numbers square plus this number square so we haven't no squared this square this number square so this number is basically uh, 0.139 let's take as 0.14 so this will be equals to 4 into c that is our c is 0.14 in this case and then plus for this two particular hooks 24 into d that is 0 0.008 so we'll have the cutting length here and the total length will be you know calculated using the similar method so as you can see the uh, finding on the bbs of columns is so simple similarly we can calculate the bbs of other columns in the drawings and then you can calculate the total weight of the particular bars that is 16 mm bars 28 mm bars 20 mm bars which are used in the columns and also you can find out the number of pieces of bars which i had told you in the previous video you can check out that so that's all for today's video thanks for watching and keep learning and if you want professional training from us, you can contact using the number which has been given right here below. Bye-bye.